Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Testing in Nutshell. This is Neesh Kumar Singh and we are talking about Load Runner Tutorials. As a part of today's tutorial, we will be actually understanding how exactly a verification step can be added in VUGen. It might be really important sometime to check that whether the particular image appeared on the screen or not because when it comes to automation, of a web application in fact it is mandatory to make sure that some of the specific images are loaded completely because sometimes your images are in fact the buttons to click and continue with the next page so generally not all the web pages makes use of a physical button they make use of a particular graphical representation or probably sometimes images to make it as a link in order to move to a particular hyperlink now that's where these images are loaded or not must be verified at certain point of time also to add, there is another verification step in Lodan or, or BUGen, which is to talk about the text checkpoint. That means any particular text can also be verified with help of the VUGen scripts. And today we'll be understanding that how exactly you can insert these verification steps in your VUGen script. So let's get started and quickly understand the same. Part of this tutorial we will be understanding what is a verification step in automation scripts how to add image check in the view gen and how to make use of text check in the view gen in order to get started the very first thing what we need to understand here is what exactly is a verification step a verification step is basically to verify an entity or maybe an object on the application during the runtime or execution of a particular script now, why would you prefer to verify something on a runtime? Anyways, we are trying to test everything so we know what exactly we are testing. Now, verification steps are basically to verify one or the other object on the application during the runtime. And this could be a text or could be an image, which is quickly to make sure that whether this activity happened or not. For example, when you talk about the web page applications, or web-based applications, there are a lot of time they make use of an image as a button. It's not basically a physical object of button, but sometimes they make use of images or text as a button. So it's really important for a web page to load that particular image before a user can click on it. If in case that does not happen, your script will fail. But you might be unaware of what exactly went wrong. Was that the syntax issues? Was that the network connectivity? Or was that related to exactly the image which was not loaded? And by just adding a simple verification step, you can minimize your efforts and understanding on the same. So let's get started today and understand the same thing in more detail. So in order to get started, you can take up always a new script because that's a good habit so that the previous settings can be lost because you might have been uh, doing a lot of other different options every time you run. So that can sometimes give you different behaviors. So let's click on create and get started. The very first thing here, we will be following the same protocols to start recording and uh, we will be recording in different actions so that we know what exactly we are doing and where we are doing and we will just get started with the recording process. So, so right, right now, now my recording, recording event has started and it has started capturing the details. So, so here is a button at the end which you call it as in insert text check, check and image check can, can be added manually. So text, text check can, can be added during the recording or manually as well. Image check can be added later as well. So let's continue with the login part here. So the user ID is Jojo and the password is Bean. Click on uh, login. Now at this point, I want to verify a text like the, whether the username was displayed or not. So all you have to do is select the username and click on insert text check. That's it. Okay. So you can add it for any other words also displayed on the page, but it's up to you. So let's continue moving to the next action, that is action here, and click on flights, and select any flight which you want to travel with, continue, 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 and here again I would like to add another uh, checkpoint for this particular message, that uh, you wanted to have a check here, and click on insert check, and then you can switch to user n, and sign off let's, let's stop, stop recording to check what's the exact script what we have got with us all 
Right. So we need to populate. Yes, we have got all the script here. Let's have a look on our insert text that is in the user init. So here, if you go, you will find a particular step here like web reg find text is equal to Jojo. And this is what is your text checkpoint or text check in the view gen. Similarly, if I come to the user end, okay, I think I added in the action part here. So yes, here is a web reg find again. Uh, which is the text is equal to thank you for booking through the web tours and lost. So it will just make sure that it counts or checks for the presence of this text at the relevant point and then returns you with the outcome. So in order to just run this, you click on the replay option and see what exactly happens. All right, so it seems like my script has passed successfully. Let's come to the output log and check that what exactly happened. So in my user in it, there was a WebRage find function which started here and registered WebRage successfully. And uh, then you had the count of it, which you would find somewhere here, that registered WebRage find successful for the text Jojo and count one. So this confirms us, no matter we didn't see the application while the execution was happening, of course, it is possible that you can see the application, but there's no point as you're running it on the server. So you're more concentrated about the logs rather than the UI of the applications. So these kind of logs will tell you that whether this text was displayed at this point of time when it was basically started. So it's not that it was checked at the end of it, it was just displayed to you at the end of it during the log. But it was looking forward to this particular world right here at this point of time. So it will give you the outcome of it, whether it passed or not, and if it was present or not. Similarly, we added one more, which you can see at the bottom here, that is registered web reg find successful for text is equal to thank you for booking through web tours, and count one was present. Now you can add for any particular character just like this in order to make use of it to decide whether it is working or not. Similarly, in order to perform the image check, we just have to make sure some of the settings are enabled first before you can go for it. So in the runtime settings, you would find an option, Preferences, which basically allows you to uh, set up whether the image and text check can be performed. So here is the Preferences option, and this is the check option, which is disabled right now. Text check is just a character check, so by default it works, even if you have not enabled this. But image goes to the source code of the page in order to search for that image. So you need to make sure that you have enabled it, and as far as you've en enabled it, the image checkpoints will work. Click on Save. And once you're done saving this, I need to find out now that which image I want to check and after that, what is the alter or source code of it, okay? So in order to do that, first of all, I need to go ahead and pick up the application, which I'm going to make use of. And uh, I can just launch any particular browser to just check the part of it, like which image arm am I looking for? So you can launch the page and just go to manually. This is not the recording option. I'm just uh, manually navigating to the application and looking forward to any such image uh, which I might be interested in to verify using the check. So not sure what exactly went wrong here. Okay, I'm not sure if this browser is working. So let's go to IE, yeah. And that's the most compatible thing here. So let's try with this here and uh, log into uh, user ID Jojo and Bean. Click on login. Yes, we are here. Now, at this point of time, for example, this is an image. This is not a button. Even these all four are images, and I can verify any one of them. So for example, I want to verify this continue button. I just right click on this and go to inspect element. Okay, and the inspect element will tell you what exactly is the detail. So here I have the source path of it. So I just have to get this uh, path that is entire thing. Uh, source is equal to uh, web tours images button not under, under underscore next dot GIF. So I just have to go back to my view gen after copying this and insert at the right relevant place where it is visible. For example, here, or before I can click on this button, 
I can insert it here. Just make sure team you would judge the scripts before you can actually insert the step. So here is uh, the function called as web underscore image underscore check and followed by open the brackets put it as uh, again the same thing web underscore image underscore check which is to call this function comma the src is equal to double quotes the value of it close the double quotes so this is how it's going to identify the same thing and going to detect this and run So sometimes the case sensitiveness is very important. If in case you lose out that, in, it can be wrong. And as the end of the function, you need to insert the last. Yes. So that's how simple it is by doing it yourself. And uh, you just have to insert whatever you want to check for. But you just have to get the right input from there and make use of it. So I think I'm, uh, yeah, I'm perfectly fine here. Let's click on save. And... Uh, Make sure that the all other instances which you would have opened manually has been closed before you can run the script. So let's run the script and see what exactly is the outcome. So it seems like we are having something wrong here. At line number 56. All right, so that's how you get the result. Now if you can see that, you know, uh, we tried looking for this particular image and it says there was no occurrence at this point of time when you use for this particular text image. So probably uh, it was done in terms of like uh, validating at a wrong place. Of course, uh, it might not be present at this time. So let's try doing it here and check if it is visible at this point of time and save it and run. Okay, so you know at both the points it says that this particular step has been uh, not validated. And can you check that here that when I make use of a web image check, it does not continue further because that image was not loaded for some reason and that particular image was not displayed. So this particular step could not continue ahead because this might be a check condition for me that until unless this happens, you cannot proceed ahead. So whenever you have a failure in your script, it does not continue ahead. So I must have to remove this first part to check if the second one works because it's not going to second one as far as we have the error on the first one. So click on save again and then try uh, running this. Okay, so the, we have there also the you know failure happening. So uh, these are some of the things which we will actually explore in the upcoming tutorials in order to understand that how exactly uh, these scripts can be modified and rectified when they have errors. So right now the concept was to understand how to insert an image check, how to insert a text check, and it's just that simple. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.